the last episode, we have seen that if we put the pine cone in water, it will close. Here, let us first explore the reason behind this. In nature, plants and animals follow a very simple rule, which is the survival of the fittest. That means that they will do whatever they need in order to survive and prosper. This is the same for the pine tree. The pine cone is actually where the seeds of the pine trees are housed. In cold and wet weathers, the pine seeds are not going to be able to travel very far, and so it is better for the pine tree to actually close the pine cone to protect the seeds and wait until warm and dry season, where the seeds can travel further away and have a highest chance to find good soil to grow new trees. But then, how does the pine cone close in water? The pine cone is actually not alive, so how does it know when to open and when to close? One of the hint is that if we look at the weight of the pine cone before and after it closes, it increases. This suggests that the pine cone closes because it's absorbing water. You may notice in our experiment that the pine cone is actually put halfway in water, but the scales on both sides of the pine cone closes simultaneously, the side which is in the water and the side that is actually not. Even though there are some capillary actions inside the pine cone, this suggests that the bending occurs mostly in the middle part of the pine cone. Let's now try to see how the scale of a pine cone moves when we put it in water. This is a picture of the pine cone when it's open, and if we put it into water, the pine cone will close, and then afterwards it closes completely. As we mentioned earlier, that the middle part of the pine cone is where the action is. So what we can do is cut the pine cone in half to see how the scale moves. This is what happened to the pine cone when it's open. And we take this pine cone and soak it in water, it will close and then it will close completely. Because this is the same pine cone, we can now identify the same scale from all of them to see how it moves. Before it is opened, this is one of the scales that we identify. The identical scale in the middle part is here, and then when it closes completely, the scale is here. We can now overlay the figures together to see how the scale moves when the pine cone closes. We see that there is actually a bending action that comes along when the pine cone closes, and the angle of closure can be as much as 70 degrees. So how does the absorption of water lead to a bending action inside the pine cone? We know that for a cell, when it absorbs water, it will expand. If you only have one single type of cell, the expansion is not going to lead to a bending motion. The secret lies in the construction of the pine cone cell. It is actually a composite. There are actually two different layers of cells in the composite. The top layer absorbs water and expands more compared to the bottom layer, so it bends the fiber down and then closes the pine cone. Now we know the secret of the pine cone and how it closes. Can we make an artificial pine cone out of common household items? We will show you how to do it in part 3 of this trilogy, which will be released to you on January 8th. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.